Hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to Deadly Premonition, where it is starting to look very much like... Yeah, there's, there's no going back. Gonna drop a sneaky save. No bonus for Daily Reporter either. Which I find very, very peculiar. And through we go! Welcome to Greenvale! Agent Francis York Borg. Finally got to see the real Greenvale. I knew you country folk were shy. It took you long enough to show me who you really are. York. This is a wonderful and powerful town. Especially when it is raining. I always get depressed when it rains. Especially in this town. This town has two great treasures. Do you know what they are, York? Those seeds are one of them. But I don't think they deserve to be called a treasure. I have to say, George looks a little bit rough. Man, you could never appreciate their true value. But you'll agree with my selection on the second treasure, anyway. I don't disagree with treasure number two. Emily sparkles like a precious gem. This town changed since she came here. Is that fucking the snake skin or alligator? Gave us the fruit of knowledge and gave us sin. When I first saw her, I realized I was such a fool. A fool for being satisfied by the petty girls from this countryside town. Ah, uh, George, I agree you were a fool. And you are a fool, even now. Shut it, York! You're the fool here. Becky, Diane, and Carol. They all died right in front of you. You couldn't save even one of them. Not even one. You're the worthless fool here. And that's what proves it. But me, unlike you, I am strong. I have power. My mother taught me. The strong, who can overpower others, is always correct and right. My mother stepped on my face with her stiletto heels because she had power. And when the heel pierced my cheek, I learned to respect her. Since then, I obtained power of my own and found my own disciples. I became divine. All I need now is that goddess of fate and grab her with my hands. I want Emily in her stiletto heels. You're out of your mind. The goddess won't smile for you anymore, George. Deer hunting is great. They can be erotic creatures. Perverts. Black eyes, firm hips, and slender legs. Hunting is a sign of power, especially deer hunting. Double pervert. Did you know, York? From time to time, there's a family of deer that comes down to the graveyard. I shot them full of bullets. And they still remain standing. First, I thought they were zombies, but when I snuck up on one, cut its stomach out, I found the truth. The red seeds. Those seeds made those deer invincible. George, no Olympics for you. You'll fail the doping test. You'd be good food for wild animals, though. Shut your crap, York. I 
up these seeds because I chose them. To me, and that proves my divinity. Gave me proof of power. The red tree. The red tree? You've got that all wrong, George. That's the mark of child abuse. <sighs> That's no use, York. Carol's death gave me eternal strength. <sighs> Surging through my body. I can no longer be killed. York, aren't you honored? Not really. I'll be the first to congratulate for my new powers. Yeah. <laughs> right. Bit of a boss battle time. I th oh, I think I I have a clue. Um, whenever something glows red, doesn't that usually mean that that's what we need to shoot at? You think you're so clever. Not only do I think it, but I know it. I wonder if I can shoot him in the face as well. Right. Chosen one. I am the one and only. That doesn't seem like I can shoot him in the face, even though he does have a glowy bit on the face as well. Right, prep. You think you're so clever? I think I'm pretty clever. Maybe more. Getting Anna and Becky involved was all too easy. Carol and Thomas built a secret club for me. All we had to do was tell them about it, and they were giddy to join us immediately. And that's where I used the seeds on Anna and Becky. Amazing results, let me tell you. They went berserk, like cats in heat. Anna, especially, enjoyed the seeds. So I made my decision. She would be the first sacrifice for my immortality. George, your poetic prose is a bit confusing. Let me reword this so it makes sense. You chose Anna as your first victim, so you could be a first degree murderer. Framed Thomas so it looked like he did it. <laughs> you saw him, didn't you? I'll meet up. The poor fellow. He knew that he was only being treated as a substitute for Emily. He knew that. And Carol knew too. But they played along with your sick games. <laughs> You're making me cry. He's the one who told me about the raincoat killer. About how to become divine, too. He didn't believe any of it. But when he told me, it all made sense. Why was I born in such a run-down dump? Why did my mom beat me every day? Why didn't Emily want me? Oh, 
All these things were just preparing me for something more. Ultimate power! Ah! I think we can see the, the Japanese influence. With imagination like that, you belong in the zoo. Hollywood zoo. <laughs> I'm taking serious, York. Um, nothing about this, George, Let's is serious. Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, I'm gonna need a shotgun, aren't I? Hey, you brava! Let's send this door. Did you move one up, maybe? Oh! You've... you've stopped. That's... Why? 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 Oh, uh, fuck! Hello! Right, you can fuck right off. That's bullshit game design for two reasons. One, you don't show me the actual character struggling. And two, you're just trying to fucking jerk your own ego off. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm to get serious, York! Let's settle this dork. See? You don't think oh. you can beat me, dork! Right, I'm gonna start doing this even yeah. beforehand, and there we go. Right, so... Let's settle this dork. He's so fucking tall as well. So I can't, I can't stand very close. Because, well... Ah! Well, the fact of the matter is that the camera doesn't go high enough for me to actually hit him if he's very far. Or, or very near, rather. It's not possible for me to die anymore. Is it not? Well, I mean, you seem to be about as... Oh, I pressed the wrong button. I was pressing T. being impatient, to be honest.
It's not possible for me to die anymore. Is it not? Well, you've got rock hard bombs is what you've got, mate. How fucking far do I have to stand from you? Like, honestly. Why? 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 There we go. I Why? think. Why? 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 Mama. I didn't do anything bad. Why? Why are you doing this to me? It wasn't me! I didn't do anything! I know I'm gonna apologize to Pahana, didn't I? I know I didn't for the other, but still... I didn't do anything wrong! You know who it was! He's the one who put me into Pahana! He's the one that gave me the wonderful present! And it filled me with confidence! And that was when I realized! I realized that I am blessed! York, I know you have it. You have no right to hold on to it. You mean this? Why are you so concerned about this locket? I told you I'm the chosen one. Only the chosen one can own that locket. That's what he... That's what he told me! Ha <laughs> ha! I am special! I am! Are you? Right. you're going to lose. <laughs> Jesus! Brilliant.
I think is it is this like I can have a chat Very with Very soon you'll be able to go back to where you came from. Do I care? Hello, Anna. <laughs> So you haven't got anything intelligent to say. Brilliant. Have a fucking wonderful afterlife. And these are only like... Hello, Thomas. You also need to have more fun. I'll play with you a little if you like. Yeah. I mean, have a lovely laugh after I and all that, but fuck's sake. Expect no praise. You did nothing but your duty. All right then. I assume this is then. York's mother. Francis, well done. I'm sure your father wants to congratulate you. I, I doubt it. He just said... I mean, can you not hear? Do I actually have to talk to all the fucking people? Even the ones without anything fucking important to say? The fucking vacuous fucking... Anyway. I hate it when games do this. I do. <laughs> right. Fuck off. I'm gonna go see if the, if the first fucking twin had something intelligent to say as denoted by a fucking yellow text, but other than that... What the fuck are all these other bins just laughing? Right. You will also be able to return back soon. Alright. Is the door open now? Is that door open? Could I just go? How about that? <laughs> yep, Mac is laughing. You, art gallery bitch. You look the most refined out of all these people. Give a fucking comment. <laughs> She's not even got f unique fucking laughter. I'm sorry, but I can't allow you to go with your parents yet. There is still something you need to do. Open that envelope.
potato? Potato. Mm -hmm. Agent York, finally you're awake. How long have I been out? A whole day, uh, plus ten hours or so. I wanted to challenge you to a game, but uh, uh, you were asleep. Emily, which room is Emily in? Emily? What, she hurt too? She hasn't come into the hospital. What? I told Kaysen to bring her here. Kaysen? Well, Kaysen came. I mean, he's the one who brought you here. Uh, which reminds me. He asked me to give you this. What is it? I don't know. He just asked me to hand it to you after you woke up. Anyway, you solved the case, right? Hey, do you want to play some chess? Sorry. I'll have to take a rain check. I have an urgent issue I need to attend to, and I need to leave the hospital. Zack, I have a bad feeling about this. Would I like to save? Yes, I would. Hmm? Right. I've got map. So Right, well I think this is going to be it for this episode, so thank you very much for joining me and uh, please, you know, be aware and please join Zach, me for really the stream on this. Sunday. It's going to be believe George was the murderer that we were after, but killing him of course does not solve all the starting at 1 to the Red PM seeds. UK time. I do not know if what and, Harry uh, said is we'll true see at all. what we see but the in the next the episode. Those red seeds is here in this town. I'm sure of that. So uh, thank you for joining me. As an FBI agent. And, uh, I left Emily alone as I slept through an entire day. Zack, I need you to pray with me. Pray that things have not gone too far. Right, anyway, so... Where are we headed? We are headed... To George's house. So, like I said, thank you for joining me, and for now, goodbye.